Hello girls, right, I've just posted on Instagram, has that gone up? Hello, hello, happy Monday. Feel very naked coming on here like this. I'm looking, normally looking a little bit more together, but you know what? Had a very heavy weekend. And um, I was like, you know what? We, we, we should do a little pamper night tonight. <laughs> How, I feel like my voice has gone. I was chanting and singing so much yesterday. How is everyone doing? If you are new here, if you're watching this on playback, we go live every Monday at six o'clock till seven. Come and join us, have a chat, sit back, grab a cuppa. I've just, sorry, that's why I was late because I was like, I need a cuppa. I haven't had one in a few hours. I've been head deep in Serena Day's orders. So they've all gone to the post office. Now we're on Beauty's Big Sister, ready with all my skincare. I've got some new products here as well, which I'm excited to try. Hi, Joanna. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Ali. Hi, Caroline. Um, Girly, how are you, she Shelly? Um, oh, Joanna, we've had so much rain today and there's been thunder. I think we're getting that now. I think it's about to start. It's not looking too, too nice outside. Um, yeah, so I watched the England game, uh, a rooftop bar in London yesterday, which was interesting. <laughs> Literally, as we walked up, it just started absolutely tipping it down. They did have umbrellas up, but yeah, it, it wasn't great. <laughs> um, oh, it was such a mix of emotions yesterday, but I'm so proud of our England team. I think, yeah, they just done incredible and... It was a really good game. It was so, so close. Um, so I'm gutted, but we've done a really good job and they should be really proud of themselves. And I think it's just brought us as a country together, which has been really, really nice. Like it was, I mean, there was full grown men like fully crying in London yesterday, which was really, really sad. Yeah, Joanna, I feel like parts of London were really bad. In Oxa Circus, it was really like quite calm, which I'm really surprised about. Um, and after everyone was just like kind of like head down, like walking to the tube, like a bit sad, but I didn't see any trouble at all. Um, but yeah, Shelley, it, it's just been awful what I've seen online today. It's just disgusting that the same guys that would have been cheering for those players if they would have scored. And calling them like national heroes are the same people that's giving them the abuse now, which is just awful. Like they've done so incredibly well. Um, and I feel like with penalties, it is literally like so 50-50. Um, it's just been awful. <sighs> yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah it's it's just it's so sad because I feel like it brought so many people together and it's been like so nice to have something that's brought us together as like a country but I don't know like yeah it's just such a shame that there are some men that have just completely ruined it and I'm like well you didn't deserve for us to win you know and celebrate um yeah it, oh, it's so true. Those players have uh, put given so much to the nation, puts the government to shame. It is so true. I think they're oh, I'm so proud of them, honestly, and they should be so proud of themselves. Like I saw one of the players post today that, you know, I'm devastated. I hope I can make it up to you. And it's like, boys, you've done amazing. Um, to, for us to get to the final, I think it's just incredible. So I was happy either way. But obviously it was gutting because we were so close like we pay, played a really good game um so that was the only thing like we were just so close uh the football lifted the country up and brought everyone together I think so and it was just so nice when I was going into town I, I didn't get there too early because I didn't want to potentially be in the rut of it um but what I experienced was just really happy people chanting and singing together and it was just a really nice atmosphere of where, where I was um but yeah obviously there's always the idiots that ruin it I think Leicester Square looked horrific like I just don't why like literally throwing bottles breaking windows just I saw a car picture of a car that drove into an Italian restaurant why 
so stupid, but just the thick <laughs> men, like thick minority of people, like that just don't have a brain cell. Like, what? anyway, going off on one. We should be happy <laughs> of how far we got. I think it, yeah, it's definitely it's in my mood. I think it's it's what we needed. And um, these young players will continue to develop and grow. 100%. I think that Saka should be, oh, like, it literally broke my heart seeing him crying his eyes out. Like, he, oh, to a 19 to step up to do a penalty in a final like it was relying on him is just such a huge responsibility and I do feel sorry for him because I don't think it was fair to put him through that when there was a lot more experienced players that could have maybe like it's a lot of pressure for a for a 19 year old who hasn't played in a final before you know but anyway they done amazing um oh yeah Lesser Square was mental the photos terrified me Literally, but you know, when you're just like, why? Like, just be happy. Just, you know, I think it is, and, and it looks so bad, but I think it is a minority because from what I experienced and saw, just like everyone was just really happy. Um, so proud of the players. There's always people that ruin it. Yeah, which is so sad. I'm sure they'll do it uh, next year in the World Cup. They'll do amazing. What an amazing young team. They really are. Like, I just think that. It's so unreal to have got that far and to play Italy, who are like the hardest team to be. We put up a really good game and we were winning for a, a long period of the game, which was great. Um, you know, when you just like really thought, I really thought it was coming home. I think when, um, is it Jordinio? When he missed his penalty, who never misses a penalty, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> We've got this. But anyway, it was a real roller coaster of emotions. But World Cup next year, I mean, I feel like that's a whole other ball game with the world. But um yeah, I'm sure they'll do incredible. Um yeah, it does, Shelley. I just think that's why England have a bad name in football, because you just got these absolute hooligans who like what what is the logic in, in any of that? Um, I'm going to pop on these now to let them do their do their thing. I have been loving my little pixie eye masks. I've lost a little spatula to it. Shock. <laughs> um, so that's a bit annoying. So it's kind of hard to get my little eye masks out. But there we go. Um, so these are the pixie. Um, I actually got them when I done my M&S content. Really good value. Um, for how many you get in here, there are 30 pairs in here, and these are, I think they're the vitamin C, yeah, vitamin C and licorice to revive and minimize under eye darkness and hydrate, and that's what I feel like I need. I have had quite a, uh, quite an intense weekend. I really went for it. I was, yeah, on the way up to London with the girls, singing It's Coming Home out of the minibus. <laughs> <laughs> really went for it on Saturday um but I just really cannot wait for restrictions to be over next week which is mad um because it just doesn't make sense to me that all these men can go and literally be hooligans and go in huge crowds on the streets and in Wembley like London was absolutely heaving but I can't stand at my table and dance let me live. Why is it okay for all the guys to just have fun? I want to have fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, we had to do, anytime we tried to like stand up a little bit, they were like, sit down. Um, so, but would really, really recommend a Sumasan um, Twigger in Chelsea, if anyone's um, are near there. Really fun restaurant, really good food. It's really hard in London to find a good like atmosphere party restaurant where the food is good because a lot of the time they're like oh it's okay the people will be drunk we can charge them a fortune and give them really rubbish food <laughs> so in summer sand it was actually really really nice food i would highly recommend um yeah these eye patches are a dream um ali the pixie eye patches look great i want to try them i think for a decent eye patch they're really, really good value because I love the midge ones, but they're really expensive. 
So, unless you want to splurge, I, I would say that these are a really good shout. And they're going to last you a really long time. Um, Joanna, OPI show is happening on Saturday. Had a bit of a freak out last Monday. Thank you so much for uh, letting me know what was going on because I had no idea. Um, but yes, basically it's going to be at 12 o'clock now, our show on Saturday with OPI. I felt really bad because my um, contact at OPI was in Ibiza and I was like, I'm really sorry to message you, but what's going on with Saturday's show? Um, so they had changed it, but they hadn't told me or asked me yet. So <laughs> dramas. Uh, but yeah, I'll be live 12 to 1 on Saturday, which will be really fun. Uh, Kamsi, hello, how are you? We've missed you. Uh, oh my God, the perfect timing. I'm during an 11 hour, 11 hour, Solo drive across Norway back to my hometown for summer vacay and just stop to have a break and hoping to join you guys. Oh, I mean, good luck with your road trip and have the best summer vacation. Um, oh, you're going back home for summer. Oh, amazing. Well, enjoy. I hope you have the best time. I feel like you need it. Um, Bless you, you've been um, studying lots. Studying lots or working lots? Um, but yes, enjoy your break. Thank you for coming on here. I'm gonna cleanse the rest of my face. Um, these are the Detoxify. Oh no, sorry, they're the Beautify. Oh, there's a lot then. Detoxify, Fortify, this is Beautify. <laughs> um, yeah, Beautify Brightening Eye Patches, the ones with the vitamin C. You guys know I love my vitamin C. Um, how was everyone's weekends? What did we get up to? What did we do? Um, my Serena Day shoot day went so well. I was, yeah, so happy with how it went. It was a really full on day. I'm not gonna lie. I've got all the pictures to go through and select all the pictures for the website. We're we doing the website. There's a, a lot going on. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be good, guys. But Part of me is like, do I just get on a plane and go to Ibiza? <laughs> I'm booked to go in August, but I just feel like the longer I leave it, the longer I'm not going to go. So that's my thinking at the minute. Um, the That was the Elemis uh, Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. Who is free? I did put it on the Facebook group. Who is free on Wednesday? This Wednesday to do our Zoom night. Let me know in the chat box. I was going to do it tonight and then I thought, I don't want to not do a YouTube live. But then if we're on YouTube live and then on Zoom night, you're just going to sit by your devices like all night. Um, so. <laughs> um. Lisa, so for Ibiza, it's on the green. So we just need to get tested to go, which is, yeah, fine. It's pretty similar to what I done last year. Well, we didn't need tests actually at that point. Um, but yeah, quite a few of my friends are going out there. So I'm feeling like it would be the best like little break. Um, Oh, Kamsi, yes. Looking forward to finally relaxing. And yes, I'm studying. I thought you was. Um, enjoy your break. Ali, the behind the scenes, Serena Day stuff looks so great on Instagram. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, it was, I, I wanted to do more on stories, to be honest. But um, it was such a uh, busy, busy, crazy day that I didn't get as much as I wanted to, but the main thing is that we, uh, yeah, we got all the, the content for the website and everything that we needed. So that was the main thing. Caroline literally saved my life. Caroline was my organized queen. I could not have done the shoot without you. So thank you. Um, yeah, just help me organize everything. Keep me on track. Like when I tell you guys, it was back to back. Like my mum, for, for instance, had a 30 minute slot to get her shots like it was so tight and I can't believe we actually got through everyone in the times so um yeah it was great I'm gonna use actually I'm gonna 
I'm trying to think. No, I don't normally use a serum with this. I haven't used this in so long. I've neglected um, microneedling. Who microneedles at home or do you go to the salon? Do you do it at all? Let me know. Um, this is the Glow Pro one, which is your like at home microneedling device. They do tell you to use this like every night. I'm just so lazy. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I haven't been using it. Um, uh, 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 Joanna, I literally did nothing at the weekend. Meeting the uni girls tomorrow. Oh, that's so nice. I think we were all last together two years ago. It was the last time you saw them. That's crazy. Crossing fingers that where we're going serve, serves Cosmos. I mean, everywhere has to serve a Cosmo, right? You'll be fine. Um, Great. Oh, um, okay, Joanna, you're free on Wednesday. Let me know if any of you other guys are free on Wednesday. Does that work for you? Let me know because I want to, yeah, make it a good one. And definitely, Joanna, I will message you. Oh, hi, Faye. How are you? How was your weekend? Oh. <laughs> oh, Caroline, you're more than welcome. I'm always here. So proud of you. Thank you. And how much we achieved. I know. Everyone smashed it and got through the shops, which kept us to time. I know. Everyone did. It was great. Um, so some slots, we actually allocated more than enough times. So we got loads. Faye, very hungover and tired. I'm feeling you. I could not get up this morning which means I'm gonna have to work all tonight because <laughs> I'm so behind but um oh gosh I was so so tired also had a nightmare getting back because it went into um the extra time then it went to the penalties I missed my last train um because it went on for so long with this with the glow pro you literally just go in all different directions essentially what this is doing which I know sounds scary but it's, it's essentially like cutting the skin. <laughs> um, but it just means all our products are going to work so much harder because our channels will be open. It's not painful at all. Obviously, you can tell I'm doing this on my face now. It, it literally, it's not painful. You can feel tiny little, tiny little pricks, but it's, it's not painful at all. Um, but yeah, I need to get better at doing this because actually, I mean, I feel like my skin is so good right now. I don't know what's going on or like what's different, but <laughs> I haven't done anything different. But all of a sudden, my skin's gone grey. So, uh, Shelly, you've never microneedled. To be fair, I feel like you've got incredible skin, so you probably don't need to. I think it's more like, yeah, if you've got like underneath the skin spots, if you, I don't know, if you want like the glow in your skin then all your products are going to sink into, like, the deeper layer. Um, oh, Joanna, it's really hard to find somewhere in Belfast that serves Cosmos. What? Um, but we are heading to a cocktail bar after dinner. That's insane. I feel like that's a, a standard. Oh, no, Joanna, give us the goss. What has happened? Um, have you seen the drama over on the Tart Instagram? Please enlighten me. What is going on? Um... Oh, Faye, what did you do for the game? <laughs> oh, Shelley, sending you lots of love. I hope you're okay. I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, Lisa, what time will it be? What time would be good for you? Do you want to do a 6 p.m. or a 7 p.m. on Wednesday? Let me know what works. Um, should we go in with this? I've been loving this. This is the LMS Dynamic Resurfacing Pill and Reset. Has anyone got this yet? So, I mean, I've never tried it after microneedling, to be fair, so I'm a little bit scared. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, so this is the pill side. Um, so it's essentially like an at-home pill, but it's not too intense. It's actually quite gentle on the skin. You can feel a little bit, or I feel a little bit of tingle. Um, I mean, it does say to leave this on 15 minutes. I'm not going to leave it on 
for that long for the purpose of uh, us being on live. But yeah, you wanna leave this on for about 15 minutes, let it sink in, let it do its thing. Then you've got the reset on the other end, which just kind of cools and just kind of, yeah, brings down. And well, you don't really get, I don't get any information with this. Um, so three pumps at phase one over the skin. Uh, tingling sensation and redness may occur. Um, and then it does say wash it off if it does feel uncomfortable. So I think even if you just keep it on for five minutes, it's still going to do the job. I feel like this really does kind of inject the glow into the skin. So this is in the dynamic resurfacing range, which I love from Elemis. Um, oh, Joanna, I might use the dynamic gel mask tonight. Yes, I feel like it's a good day to do a pamper. It's a little bit grey outside. It's a little bit drizzly. I feel like we need to kind of pick ourselves up. Um, okay, I'm watching Sex Life, girls, on Netflix. <laughs> Who else is watching? Um, Ali, I saw so fancy Elemis PR package for Elemis and Harrods. <gasps> That's exciting. Uh, Shelly, love Elemis. Their products are gentle, but you still get the results. Agreed. I ugh, can't rate Elemis enough. Like, they are an expensive brand, but I feel like if you wait for a a, a good QVC deal, then it's it's so worth it. There we go. Joanna's just dropped that in there. Elemis TSV soon too. I mean, I don't know how they do so many. Um... Oh, Faye, you went around your friends for drinks and nibbles and all the kids. Look at my Instagram. I will do. Um, oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I went to the post office. The minute I went outside, I started sneezing. I was like, damn it. I forgot to take my hay fever tablet. Um, okay, so this product, Joanna's saying, is in the big deal that's going on, LMA, uh, going on QVC next month in August. Uh, Shelly, you've got a sample of the pill and reset. We'll be using it tonight. Very exciting. Um, Joanna, okay, so this is the Tarte drama. They did a reel about their primer saying it lets your skin be a filter without a filter, but they are clearly using a filter. That's so illegal. <laughs> they can't do that. Um, oh, wow, I'm presuming that's been taken down. Um, Oh, Lisa, yeah, look up with the with the tart drama. <laughs> um, Ali, episode three, 20 minutes in. I've just finished. Oh, no, I'm halfway through episode two, actually. But I did see the end of episode two via Gogglebox and was like, <laughs> wow. Um, what is everyone else watching? I feel like I just have been so busy. I haven't had time to sit down and watch TV. So that's the only thing that I quickly caught. But yeah, what else um, What else have you guys been watching? Any news? Any goss? Fill me in. Um, I've got a couple of parcels. I didn't get many this week, but let's open what we have got. My beauty room is out of control. I know I probably said this last week. So imagine the build up over that week, all the props in there for the Serena Day shoot. I need to sort it out. So I think that's going to have to be tomorrow. Um, I really do an hour. Gosh, just got to be so careful. You just can't, but surely they know you can't do things like that. <laughs> um, oh, I'm watching Bones. I love it. I haven't heard of this is in here Caroline I can confirm it's mental in there it really is I mean it's kind of a, a struggle to uh to get in to be honest to just get into the room um I'm really confused this is like a packaged up product like wrapped oh <laughs> Who would wrap me there? My blogger Mel, it's Ali Young. I've got the Beauty Insider, um, which is her new book. Effortless skincare and beauty advice that works. To be fair, if there's anything you need to know about beauty, skincare, anything, then um, Ali is your, your person, to be honest. 
I am definitely gonna, oh, this it looks really good. Bless her, Daisy, love, love working with you. Let's catch up and do some collabs. Enjoy, Ali. Do we wanna do a collab with me and Ali? Maybe like for Serena Days, I wonder if she'd do a little collab with the books. Would that be a good like free gift? Um, Shelley, I watched Murder by the Coast on Netflix. I'm currently watching Ratched due to start season two of Gamora. I haven't heard of any of these. I feel so out the loop, guys. Um, this is really, really handy. Oh, ah! Um, oh, I can actually hear Ali's voice when you read it. This is so cute. This, I mean, it's... Everything is explained because I think a lot of the time now, I mean, I know for, even for me, like it's very confusing all the ingredients. So all the ingredients are really broken down for you here. So all the different acids, azorbic acid, I mean, BHAs, AHAs, ceramides, collagen, enzymes. Um, this is really handy. Oh, I'm going to be a little beauty nerd. And, um, yeah, read up and study on all my different ingredients. This is actually so handy. And it says for the ing each ingredient what it's best for. This is great, guys. Vitamin C, best for all skins. Yes, we love vitamin C. Um, Ali, did Ali Young get her Serena Day's PJs? Well, I really hope so. Basically, does anyone know how tall Ali is? Because I couldn't think and she'd asked for the long pair of trousers and I thought are they going to be too long but then she really wanted the nude set and I didn't have her size in the classic so I've just sent her the long but I'm really worried they're going to be really long for her so that's the only thing um oh we've got a new Mascara from MAC. How do we feel about that? I um, I do like the MAC mascaras. I just don't think they're like overly, <laughs> so, so mean, but like, you know, MAC is so good at so many other products, like lip and eye, highlight. I just wouldn't think of them as like the best brand for mascara. Um, so I feel like they needed a new mascara. So I'm excited to try this. It's the Magic Extension. It's a fibre mascara. I don't, I'm not normally the hugest fan of fibre mascaras because I feel like they flake. But I will give this a go. 90% uh, said lashes achieved over the top exaggerated volume. That sounds like a bit of me. Um, yeah, quite cool packaging actually. Enriched with a colour amplifying crystal Alexa powder. Sounds quite bougie. Um, yeah, Joanna, same. I like that it's not product related, just pure advice with the book, which is really good because I feel like, yeah, I didn't study beauty at college. I've just learned beauty along the way. So I feel like actually having a book where I can um, read up on the all the ingredients and just... Yeah, I think that would be really useful for me. Um, Ali, I've never, um, I've never tried a mascara from Mac. I saw it on Briny Blake's Insta, and it looked good. I feel like they are, they are good. They're just not like, oh, I need a Mac mascara, you know. Um, Caroline, yeah. When I think of Mac, I think of face makeup rather than mascara. Let us know what it's like. I will do. I, um, I do agree. I do agree. Um, Kamsi just watched the new Black Widow movie. Ooh, okay, this is very heavy. Um, what did they? Oh, Faye said just finishing Orange is the New Black. It's so long. <laughs> I um, I've never watched Orange is the New Black. Right, how am I getting into this? Just gonna have to like cut it open. Hi Lisa, how are you? Absolutely, of course I did. I was there singing 
all the chance. I was like, please don't take me home. Just don't want to go to work. Um, I do love a football atmosphere. I think because my dad used to always take me to football. Like, I just always loved. Yeah, a bit. Oh, Primark. Primark don't normally see himself. This is exciting. Please find and close your Primark Beauty Pamper prescription, including a range of products hand picked especially for your skin, hair, face, body, and mind. Once you run out of your Primark Beauty Essentials, just drop us a message and a repeat re prescription. <laughs> this sounds like a great repeat prescription. Um, will be on its way to you. This is cute. Oh, Andrew Fitzsimmons bag. I love his range. Um, I actually used a bit of his texture spray. It's one of my favourite texture spray, and I think it's like three pounds. Um, so we've got the Andrew Fitzsimmons wash bag. Da -da -da. Um, oh, this makes me so happy. I completely miss that. I need to look at that. Rose Gallagher was wearing Hawaiian orchid in one of her reels and said you got her into it. That's so cute. Oh, guys, there's there's so many products in here. <laughs> um, yeah, I agree, Shelley. Joanna, you should give us weekly updates of all the drama. Please do. Because I'm just like so oblivious. So we have the Repair um, Replenishing Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, so I did tell, yeah, now it rings a bell. This was about a month ago, though, that they asked me uh, what my hair type was. And I was like, broken, damaged. <laughs> so this is why they've sent me the uh, Repair range. Um, oh, so happy to have these. I actually meant to shoot with... Um, these on the Serena Day shoot, the little hair clips, the no mark hair clips. They look so, let's put them on now. They look so cute when you're doing your makeup. Um, yeah, agreed, Ali. When, when I think of MAC, I think of Studio Fix and mineralized skin finish. The new um, highlight that I tested in, oh, how cute are these? Do we put them further up, I think? More like here. That's cute. Oh, wrong way. Um, yeah, the new one. Do they look cute, guys? The new one um, is so, so nice. Really me enjoying that. So these hair clips are £2.50. Um, so good if you're like, yeah, doing skincare, doing your makeup. I'm actually just going to take this off now because we're, we're halfway through. So let's start filling down a little bit. Um, yeah, Caroline, now Primark do them. I feel like I haven't been in store in a Primark in ages. Shall I take this off now? I feel like they've been on quite a while, haven't they? I put them on quite near the beginning. Um, <laughs> do you want know I love that? I'm already thinking about what nail polish to wear to my cousin's wedding next week. I mean, it all depends on what you're wearing. Are you wearing your glitzy, glitzy dress? Um... I do love like a creamy, pastel-y shape. I feel like you're more brights, aren't you? How about, oh, how about the new blue? Have you got it yet? Um, oh, my skin was so refreshed after doing that. It feels like cool on the skin. It feels so nice. I'm gonna go in with the step two, which is your reset. It's just a really lightweight gel and it does kind of just calm the skin. But it, yeah, the skin feels like cool, hydrated, refreshed. Do I look glowy? Hopefully. <laughs> um, really happy with my new clips. What else have we got in here? They've sent a lot. Okay, they've got a new CBD range. We've got a CBD primer. Concealer. We've got a green concealer infused with natural CBD oil, nourishing hemp seed oil and vitamin E, calming, colour correcting, um, skin conditioning, blurring powder, um, body oil. Love a body oil. Energise, white neroli and mimosa. This sounds unreal. Let's open this up. Um, 
Ah, oh, the glitzy one is for November. I'm thinking worth a pretty penny on my toes. Lovely to match my rose gold shoes. And let's be friends. Yes, let's be friends to match my dress, which is more of a pale pink. I love a like light, um, a light pastel creamy pink for a wedding. I wore um, uh, 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 uh. what did I wear to my brother's wedding? It wasn't don't bossing over me around. It's the more pinky one. Forget this smells so nice, girls. So you can just spray it on. Oh, this is lovely. It smells gorgeous. How much is this? Three pound fifty. I like the little. Oh, Caroline, what was the oil we used at the shoot? It was unreal. So it was the Nukes Floral oil, which you guys know I love, and um. I sprayed it on the girls' legs when they were um, wearing the shorts and they were like, what is that smell? Like everyone said it at the same time. I was like, girls, it's the best oil ever. You need it in your life. <laughs> um, yeah, that is my fave. We have scrunchies from the Andrew Fitzsimmons range as well. Large wrap bobbins. So uh, a set of pastel pink scrunchies, which is nice. I actually... Just got some new slip ones, which I've been loving. They are my favourite silk scrunchies. Um, oh, perfume. How do we feel about a Primark perfume? I mean, if it smells good, then yeah. But I don't know. I just wouldn't think to go to Primark for a perfume. Would you get this? Uh, the Amethyst. Is that how you say it? Amethyst. Amethyst. <laughs> Haze. Actually, a really cute bottle. Um, yes, Joanna Natasha Denona is incredible. Love her products. So that's the blush that I always talk about in Alba. That really gorgeous, like, corally, shimmery blush. Love it. That's my favourite product of hers. I do have an eyeshadow palette. I tested it years ago. Um, beautiful, though. I, you won't get a product from her that you're like, mm, it's okay. Like, her products are incredible. They're expensive, but incredible. Um, oh, Himalayan bar salts. I feel like this is a really, I love going to Primark to get like the little home bits for a little like hamper. These will be great for that. How much are these? Oh, it doesn't say. That's a nice um, 300 grams of that. It's got quite a lot of product in there. Um, oh, really? The mini palettes are very reasonable, only 22 pounds. No way. Well, I would definitely recommend. Um, fragrance oil rollable. 350. Right, there's honestly so much in here. I'm very impressed. Um, sheet masks, ATP sheet masks. Product do come through. Cleansing half sheet mask. Oh, oh, how funny. So these are masks to combat our mask knee. I mean, to be honest, I feel like if I'm getting a mask, I'd rather just put it over the whole of my face. This is just for this area. How do we feel about that? Um, this is the cleansing one with Australian tea tree oil. To be fair, though, if we are trying to combat the mask knee and the spots, yeah, maybe we do want different ingredients than the rest of our face. Kind of does make sense. I guess for ATP, that is pretty good. Um, I feel like we're going to start seeing that now from other brands. Mascara primer. I never use mascara primer. Um, gentle face wash. Oh, oh, these are cute little beauty sponges. Uh, cosmic connection. They're nice. Um, Sue, hello. How are you? It's so lovely to see you too. Thank you so much for coming on here. How's your week been? Weekend? What have you been up to? Um, Joanna, some of the palettes look beautiful. Couldn't justify the ones over 100. Yeah, I think that's one of the ones I have that they sent me. It's incredible, but it, it's a lot of money. Um, but the ones around £60 look gorgeous, especially the bronze one. Yeah, I mean, you won't be disappointed, honestly. Like, it's just pure luxury, all of our products. Um... Right, I know I've just put that product on, but I did want to use this. I've really been enjoying this. Never thought I would, to be honest. Like, I wouldn't think to buy... I I don't really buy own brand products. So it's only when I've worked with um, 
Marks and Spencer that I got this, the Glow Swipe to Glow Exfoliating Tonic. And it's one of their most hyped about products, which I didn't realise. Pretty much a dupe for your Pixi Glow Tonic, your Ren AHA. Um, so you just swipe it over the skin. Actually, maybe this is why my skin is clearing up. That would make sense because I don't normally religiously use a toner or exfoliate. And my skin is really clear at the minute. Um, so this, again, it's really, really good value for this. 5% glycolic acid. So it's not too intense. For me, I just need to be really careful because my skin just freaks out the minute anything slightly intense goes on it. So um, for me, I've really, really been liking that. Now I'm going to go in with been loving this the nukes super serum um it's expensive not quite sure why it's so expensive but it is really nice would i buy it if i had to pay for it mm, it's a lot of money i really like it <laughs> i actually love everything nukes i don't again another brand that i just don't think you can go wrong with i love all their products um oh this is so nice um Joanna because I really need another eyeshadow palette you do you do have a lot of beauty products we might need to rein you in here um like look how glowy this makes your skin look if you like using an oil but you don't want the you know it to feel too heavy on your skin this is really really lightweight kind of sits between a serum and an oil and then I'm going to go in with some new Amora Visca products this brand is incredible. Um, oh, all their products are amazing. I'm going to use the new Rose Lifting Serum. Again, it's a brand. It is pricey. It is not cheap. Um, but it's blooming good. Also, I feel like, actually, I don't look very tan, do I? <laughs> With my lights on the video. But I used um, a new Tanologist Tan. Really like it didn't break me out. So I might continue with that. Oh, this smells beautiful. Um, so I have over three figures of eyeshadow palettes. Madness. I mean, I, I definitely do. My eyeshadow palette drawer. I can't fit anything else in. It's overflowing. Uh, Rihanna, do you have any tips on how to remove my gel manicure safely? Take your time. Don't rush. You will ruin your nails if you rush. Um, I mean, I the OPI clips are game changing. Uh, but if you don't have them, a little bit of acetone, actually quite a lot of acetone, on a um, one of these is great if you have them. If not, just cotton um, pads. Put it on your nails. Wrap around your foil. Leave it as long as you can minimum 20 minutes and then you should be able to with like a cuticle pusher just push the gels off if they don't lift easily leave it back on uh, and let it soak in for longer also make sure that you file with quite an abrasive file the top layer that will help uh, before you soak them off um so could you show us your makeup collection sometime i mean i do have a video it's actually my most watched video ever uh, of my makeup collection it's not that tidy now. <laughs> if you want to go and watch it, yeah, it's, I don't know how many views it's on now, but it's on a lot of views. Um, yeah, this is the tan that I use, the Tanologist Day Glow Hyaluronic Radiance Self Tan Serum. Um, I actually did apply it with a brush before, but I forgot to bring a brush in. So I'm just going to apply it with my fingers and make sure that I uh, wash them off wash my hands thoroughly because uh, this will leave a little bit of a orange fingertips if we don't. Um, but it's actually a really nice formula. I was surprised. I've seen a lot about this brand, but I've never really tried that much from it. Um, but yeah, really, really nice product. Like a natural glow, not patchy at all. Um, which I do find with some tans, especially serums, it can just cling to like my drier areas of my face, which I really, really hate. Um, this serum didn't do that. So I'll keep using it. So yeah, it was the first time that I've tried it. 
so I will update you guys. Um, Joanna, my friend, messaged me saying she's back on now, Envy, not doing any more gels now. Yay! Um, sh so she's getting, uh, let me see. Oh, I was very happy to see her back on now, Envy. Her nails look so sore. That's the thing, I would actually never go back to gels now. Now Envy only. I need to take off this now, Envy, and redo it. I've been really swaying towards, um, my bubble bath recently more than Hawaiian Orchid. Right, another new Amora Visca product, the Midnight Radiance Mask. So this is like a leave-on mask, which I've drunk quite a lot this weekend. So I feel like my skin is thirsty. It needs a little bit of hydration, a little bit of moisture. Um, this is packed with salicylic acid and sand lily extract. This brightening night mask reveals a radiant glow at dawn. A cooling blue gel seems to melt into the skin, helping to reduce the appearance of dark spots and stubborn discoloration for an even smooth and radiant complexion. Um, so yeah, this is like the last thing to leave on. So yeah, a blue gel. Oh. You see that? It is like a little jelly. Um, oh, Joanna, lovely. I'm going to do a bubble bath for mum for her nails for the wedding next week. That'll be lovely. Oh, so oh, I'm not sure if it's different for you. Is it different? Do you still have restrictions next week? Oh, this is feels very gentle. Very cooling on the skin. Um... Oh, Sue, so I'm back on now, Envy. It's the only thing that works. It honestly makes me so happy when I hear people saying this because, you know, like sometimes people are like, yeah, but is it is it good? Does it work? I'm like, yes, just try it. <laughs> you don't even have to trust me. Just try it. <laughs> See for yourself. Um, oh, this is really nice. I needed a new night cream but I don't know whether this will be too much for every night I mean because it, it says it's a mask but then it does feel more lightweight than a mask um mm -mm -mm -mm. it doesn't so yeah it doesn't say that you can't use this every night um all the potent minerals occurring naturally in the Amora Visca healing waters deep into the epidermis Faye, I have booked Ibiza for next month. However, <laughs> I'm just a little bit nervous that it's going to get worse out there. So I might be going soon, <laughs> like really soon, but I don't know yet. Um, my friend would have seen her on my Instagrams and, and YouTubes. Laura lives in Dubai um, and she's yeah, bless her, panicking right now because she just doesn't know when she's going to be allowed to come back home again um, to see her family or to see anyone. And she's just like a little bit lonely in Dubai. So she can go to Ibiza. So we're thinking to meet up there because we can't meet up here and I can't go there. I can't go to Dubai. So yeah, if I do, it'll be very, very last minute um, shock for me. So I'm just going to order some some dresses, backup dresses just in case. But I don't know. I'm very much going to live in the moment at the minute because anything can change at the drop of a hat, you know. So I'm just like, I think there's another announcement on Thursday. So yeah, we will see. We will see what happens. But Faye, yes, are you going? Are you going in August, I think you said? Um, oh, that's good, Joanna. We aren't restricted with numbers. Um, I think there is about 80 going, but we can't dance or anything. Oh, you're driving. That's not fun. You can have a little seat dance. <laughs> um, Queen of Hungary, Evening Mist. This is actually a new bottle. Why have I got a new bottle out? I've already got this. This is, oh, so... Mm. The mist action of this is a winner. Oh, so, so nice. Um, what does it say on this? So this is, um, yeah, it's a mix between a facial mist and a sleep mist. Um, so the scent of it and the ingredients help you have a lovely sleep as well as, um, 
preparing your skin for a full night of optimal repair. A pre-pillow facial mist. So it's got calming lavender extract in here. Um, melatonin, magnesium salts. The Queen of Hungary Evening Mist enhances the restorative quality of sleep for skin. I mean, it's all very beautiful, this, this brand. It's a glass bottle. Everything's like really gorgeous and premium. Um, yes, Faye, first of August to Mallorca for two weeks and my 40th birthday. This is so exciting. I have the best time. Two weeks. Oh, go and make the most of it. Um, just enjoy it. Although I did see it looked a little bit grey, the, the sky in Ibiza today. I was like, mm, I hope it brightens up if I do go. Oh, Joanna, me, um, Mum and I have been assigned as designated drivers for some other family members as the wedding is being held about an hour away. That's the only thing with weddings, isn't it? Um, but you'll still have a lovely time and it'll be really nice to like get dressed up and go out. Um, so enjoy. I, yeah, I'm pretty much, oh, I'm going to a spa on Friday. I keep forgetting about this. I think I am anyway. It was booked so long ago that I'm like, am I? Um, but yeah, it's actually just near me. Uh, in South End, so I haven't got to go far for it either, which would be really nice. I haven't been to a spa since December, so it would be really nice to have a little bit of a pamper. Um, yeah, Faye, I thought that Balearic Islands had some rain this morning. I mean, if I go to Spain and it ends up raining and then we get the heat wave here, I'm going to be fuming. Um, but it does look like potentially at the weekend it's going to really brighten up and get hot here, I think. Um, by the looks of things so that'll be great um yeah I've got my friend's engagement this weekend uh so that'll be really really nice another excuse to get dressed up um girls that hour has literally flown by um but I'm glad I got through all of my skincare and I love doing skincare videos on here now even though I have to come on here with nothing on my face but it means that now I can just get ready for bed. I did have a cheeky Nando's for lunch. We're really getting bikini body ready. Um, and now I'm gonna have lasagna. I didn't wanna jinx myself, so. Oh no, I did have pasta on Saturday. I was gonna say I have not been eating Italian food <laughs> this weekend <laughs> because I didn't wanna jinx it for the football. Um, but yeah, now we're going in with the lasagna, so. Oh, thank you, Joanna. So proud when you do skincare lives. It's so funny because I would freak out if I'd done this on Instagram. It, it really threw me in at the deep end a couple of weeks ago when I had to do an Instagram live because YouTube wasn't working for me. Um, but actually, I really enjoyed it. So maybe we should do some more Instagram lives. I need to start putting myself out there, don't I? Uh, but yeah, let me know if there's anything you want me to particularly film this week. Um, yeah. Let me know what you want to see. I'm trying to think of the products I've got. Do we want to see the MAC Mascara? Um, yeah, let me know, girls, as well. I'll be going ahead for Wednesday. Let me know if you're good to do a Zoom night on Wednesday because I want as, as many of us there as possible. Um, and I will put it on my Instagram as well and see if, if anyone else wants to come in and join um might be fun <laughs> i feel like people get so scared of zoom though like it's it's all fun like you don't need to be scared of it we won't bite <laughs> um but yeah let me know girls right in the, the facebook group as well so we can get numbers um if you are free for wednesday or if another day will be better for you then let me know i was meant to be in london thursday but i actually think i'm going to cancel yeah, I think I'm going to cancel that because I've just got so much on this week. So if that would be better, then let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, girls, for coming on and spending your hour with me. I'm loving my new clips. They're very cute. I feel like I need to take a cute little skincare pic in my new clips. Um, <laughs> we are nice, we promise. <laughs> exactly. Um, girls, thank you so much for joining. I hope you have a lovely week. Let me know about the Zoom night over on our Facebook group. And I will hope you see you you see well, I will hopefully see you guys then. If you are watching this on playback, please do subscribe. Please join next Monday at six o'clock. And yeah, love you girls. Have the best week.
Love you.